Hello space nerds and welcome to Microcosmos. This week we're going to talk about spacecraft insulation. Have you ever wondered why spacecraft look like they are wrapped in different colors of foil? That foil is actually a complex material called multi-layer insulation or MLI and it's part of the spacecraft's thermal control system. MLI is considered a passive thermal insulation because it doesn't require electricity or moving parts to work. It is one of the main components of the thermal control system and is primarily intended to reduce heat loss by thermal radiation. Because space is a vacuum, satellites and probes experience thermal radiation more than conduction or convection. The idea behind MLI is pretty simple. Radiation balance. To explain it simply, just imagine a spacecraft in space facing away from the sun or any other heat sources. We'll say that the surface of the spacecraft radiates 460 watts. Now if you place a thin but opaque layer one centimeter away, thermally insulated from the spacecraft, it will cool until it radiates 230 watts from each side. So the surface of the spacecraft radiates 460 watts still, but 230 watts gets radiated back to the spacecraft while the other 230 watts radiate out to space. Layers of MLI can be arbitrarily close to each other as long as they are not in thermal contact. The separation space only needs to be minute, so oftentimes polyester material is used between layers. It has the appearance of a bridal veil. To reduce weight and thickness of the MLI blankets, the layers of material must be very thin but opaque to thermal radiation. These layers tend to be a material called kapton, averaging 6 micrometers thick and are coated on one side with a thin layer of metal, like silver or aluminum. A a typical blanket of MLI has 40 or more layers. The outermost layer of MLI is chosen to maximize thermal efficiency. For the Don, Rosetta, and Trace Gas Orbiter spacecraft, it was a layer of black Kapton foil. Other spacecraft, like Juno or OSIRIS-REx, use silver, but most commonly we see a gold color, like that on the Lunar Excursion Module, Mars Global Surveyor, and the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. MLI also gives the benefit of being the first line of defense against dust and micrometeorite impacts. For this purpose, one or more of the layers may be replaced by a mechanically strong material, like beta cloth. Beta cloth is the white, fireproof silica fiber cloth used in spacesuits and other applications. Beta cloth is similar to the thermal blankets used on the space shuttle. The white, quilted appearance is due to fibrous silica batting material used to cover extensive parts of the shuttle. To further insulate electronics, sometimes a layer of aerogel is used between the MLI and the electronics box, which houses the components and circuits that form the brain of the spacecraft. Aerogel is a solid, very lightweight, very low density synthetic material with low thermal conductivity. It is composed almost entirely of air at 98.2%, which makes it a very poor heat conductor and air cannot circulate through the material, which reduces its convective properties. The drawback is that infrared radiation passes right through it. Aerogel has been used in addition to MLI for insulation on the Sojourner Mars rover, the Mars Exploration rovers, and was used on the Stardust mission to capture dust particles. A centimeter cube of the material weighs less than half a tenth of a gram. Well, I hope you liked this episode of Microcosmos. Be sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with any of our future videos. Have a good week, everyone.